We've reached our destination. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Yes! <laughs> Right. No way. I don't believe this! Great! Very nice! What? I guess... What? Yeah! Whoa! Is that? Oh, this is bad. Real bad. Ah! Just great. Yes! <laughs> man, that was amazing! No wonder the old man was so gung-ho about it. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Shion? You've got sauce on your face. Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the Blazing Sword. The liberator of Calaglia. You do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> You did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering, and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword...
I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still, your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! Fair enough. Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's worried? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly. But on my own, even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people. The fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danins are still oppressed, if you ask me. Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Danin coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoe in And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elda Menensia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. I swear, I 
It is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik! Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night. I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. Damn, look at how ritzy this place is. How many rooms do you think it's got? Don't you think you're being a little too relaxed? They could strike at any moment. If they were going to attack us, they would have done it already. So you're the blazing sword of Calaglia now, huh? Come to think of it, I remember Ganabelt calling you that too. Yeah, you're getting to be pretty famous among the lords. Yeah, and that's not a good thing either. What do you mean? That's something you should be proud of, if anything, Alfin. They're scared of you, man. You're a real badass. It's not as simple as that, Law. The more well-known he is, the more people might come after him. No, that's not what I'm worried about. It isn't? When people call me that, it feels like there's something hanging over me that shouldn't be there. It's hard to put into words, but it's something that doesn't feel like a part of me. Something I can't let be a part of me. Or else. Hmm. Well, I still think it's pretty amazing, but that's just me. Really think we should trust accommodations from a Renan Lord? How do we know it's safe? Like we have any other choice. We can't go and set up camp outside of town at this hour. Honestly, I'd still take that over staying here. What if they try to kill us in our sleep? I doubt that's the case. His best chance to kill us would have been back at the palace. His true intentions aside, for now at least we're in his good books. Then we probably shouldn't test his patience. Let's find that in and check in. Interesting. All we ever got was a tattered blanket, a rock-hard bed, and well past its prime food. What are you talking about? What we got for our slave labor back in Calaglia. As you can tell, it wasn't much at all. 
Here, the Danans get the same basic amenities, but the quality is way better than anything we were given. Hell, apparently they even get time off to do what they want. If I'm being honest, I'm... I'm not sure how to take all this in. Could it be that things were simply harsher in Calaglia compared to everywhere else? It was the same in Cislodia, too. Our buildings and clothing were equipped to handle the cold, but that was the only difference. Working the floodlights was a form of punishment, so we didn't really get rewarded for anything that we did. Yeah, you could be assigned to fix food or make daily necessities too, but when all was said and done, most of that stuff went to the Renans. There wasn't much in the way of compensation for any of that, so I'd say that Cislodia and Calaglia were both pretty awful. An Elder Menencia really is unusual. To say the least. Hell, I might even go so far as to call it crazy. But the fact remains, Danans aren't free here. Yeah, no matter how happy they look, they're still slaves. I don't even know what to think right now. This is all way too much to deal with. It's giving me a headache. So that was Lord Dovalim, huh? He sure is something. Definitely not like the other lords we've met up until now. At first, he sounded like just some snobby royal, but he immediately shut down Xion's surprise attack. He's tougher than he looks. Definitely. After all, he's a lord for a reason. The food was pretty damn good, too. Why are you two complimenting him? You just said it yourself, Alpin. He's a Renan lord. Yeah, but he didn't act hostile towards us. You're reading him wrong. He's acting indifferent. He's attempting to keep some distance between himself and everyone else. It's obvious. What are we going to do then? Vicent seems to be legit peaceful. Are we just gonna do as he says and leave things be? I'm not entirely sure. For now, I think it would be best for us to rest at the inn and think about our options. Welcome, fair travelers. Lord Dohalim's retainer told us to expect you. It is an honor for you to stay with us. Please, make yourselves comfortable. This is better than I expected. Hmm? <clears throat> the room. It's nice. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. It is pretty nice. You okay, Law? You're a million miles away. Nah, it's... weird. I felt strange ever since we arrived here. Can't seem to shake it. Maybe it's something about this place. You're just tired. I'm feeling pretty sluggish myself. You too? Seriously, you two? A word to the wise, our work here is far from over. Get yourselves together. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to call it a day. Let's meet back here tomorrow morning and see where things go from there. Sound good? Sure, but keep an eye out for anything strange, okay? We still don't know how safe this place really is. Are you two feeling any better? Yeah, a good night's sleep seems to have done the trick. I wonder why we felt so out of it. You think it might have been because of all the food we ate? You don't think they slipped something into our food, do you? That must be it. If they were making an attempt on our lives, we'd know it by now. Though, on the other hand, they could be warning us off. Come to think of it, you didn't eat anything at the meal, Rinwell. Aren't you starving? Oh, I made myself something later. You missed out. That was some mighty fancy grub they served yesterday. What? And give the enemy a chance to poison me, too? Are you crazy? What's the big deal? Xion ate it, too, remember? And we both tried the same stuff. Well, maybe they laced it with poison that's only harmful to Danans, hmm? That's enough, Rinwell. <sighs> a cat? Where'd it come from? There's 
something on its collar. Hold on a sec. I think it's trying to lead us somewhere. I'm gonna follow it. Hey! Where do you think you're going? 